fade to black, morning assembly. At 9 a.m. on Monday morning, all the freshmen are gathered in the gymnasium wearing capes and robes just like me, but they're not completely like me. One boy has furry ears and a long fluffy tail. Hmm. We apparently have werewolves in this school, Tim. Really? I thought it was a big cat girl or something. One girl has glittering wings. What the fuck? And that girl looks like a vampire. Kill it. <laughs> Is this oh, what it means? Snake. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that too. I guess we have like little belts that show what house we're in. Yeah. Because yours was wearing something. I just wasn't thinking about it at the time. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah. Is that what it means to be a born witch? Being something other than human? Virginia looks normal, but she could be hiding something under her robes. No, <laughs> under her Ew. robes. <laughs> I'm actually a man. I don't know how you figured me out. <laughs> uh, nice strong grip. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no, that's that's just silly, Tim. <laughs> the muttering and shuffling of students drops off as someone steps up to the podium. Hmm, it's an older witch lady. Oh, I can do old people. All right. Hello, my little flower buds. <laughs> Welcome to Iris Academy! <laughs> I start to applaud, but freeze as I realize no one else is. Oh, good going, douche. <laughs> then Virginia beside me picks up the clapping loudly. Soon the whole room is cheering. Aw, Virginia's a good friend. <laughs> the witch holds up her hands, and the room settles back into silence. My name is Professor Potsdam. I think... Whatever. I will be one of your instructors in the ways of magic. For some of you, this will be the beginning of an adventure such as you never imagined. For others, this is only the next step in a journey you have been expecting all of your life. At Iris Academy, we teach spelling using the pentagram system. We also teach how to write and spell. Ah, bad time for my headset to die. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, read that again in case for some reason that bugged it out. I'm At sorry. At Iris Academy, we teach spelling using pencils and paper. <laughs> we also teach magic using the pentachromatic system. I'm going to say chromatic, because it sounds more uh, snazzy. I think it has something to do with the pentagram. Probably. It's probably to do with these colors. Ah. No, you don't think it's nah. these colors arranged in a pentagram? <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm just uh, pulling stuff out of my ass now? <laughs> No, I think you're pulling stuff out of your robe. Ah, uh, okay. Red uh. Ages is forceful, but not necessarily violent. Blue is the color of transformation and change. Like one of the Chaos Gods. <laughs> Green is the color of life and the world of plants and animals, also mm. known as the Pussy Magics. White magic affects the mind and spirit. Black magic is contained within physical objects. Interesting. Your palette. Your, sorry. Your palette should contain at least a few dabs of every magical color. But a beautiful painting doesn't need every shade. It's style that matters. It's a nice roll there. <laughs> Roll there on the every. I liked it. <laughs> you all have different strengths, different talents. Here at Iris Academy, we embrace that diversity and tailor your education to your needs. Choose your schedule to focus your personal talents. Don't try to become a reflection of your classmates. Follow your own star, wherever it may lead you. How 
However, the North Star has already been claimed. <laughs> that is the way in which you are all alike. You each have your own future. And I know you'll make us proud, except for Mr. Krabby Pants. <laughs> That'll be his nickname. Her starry-eyed way of speaking reminds me a little bit of my old school's guidance counselor. But she certainly seems nicer than Professor Grabiner. I wonder which class she's, which classes she teaches. You have been divided into halls to help you make your friends with classmates who share similar interests. How we know this, we do not know. <laughs> we have a very <laughs> elaborate ring of spies set up around the world. I was going to tell them it came to me in a dream. Thanks for giving it away. <laughs> For the girls, we have the event oh, the adventurous horses, the charming butterflies, and the mysterious snakes. Oh, I guess I'm not mysterious. Each group claps as their name is called. The horses louder than the others, or perhaps that's just because I'm sitting with more of them. For the boys, we have a daring wolves. The elegant falcons and the the, uh, the eldritch toads. There you go, you read it right. I'm not sure what eldritch means, but toads sound even worse than snakes. It's like, they're the gross boys, obviously. Where do you think Mr. Grammy Pants came <laughs> from? <laughs> I hope you'll all become good friends, not just in each hall, and not just in your year, but throughout the whole academy. But most importantly, I hope you get to know and trust your roommates so that by the end of the year, you'll be able to work as a team for your final exams. Failure equals death. <laughs> I wonder if it does. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, you're looking forward now. Your nose disappeared. <laughs> Just like, what the? And I know you're all looking forward to your exams, yes? You try. You were trying to talk like you had no nose. It fell off. <laughs> the audience predictably groans. <laughs> Alright, you're back I'll to normal. Good. It fell on the podium. <laughs> Just call me Michael Jackson. Uh, good ad living. <laughs> for testing purposes, your instructors will regularly set your practical challenges in the school's dungeons. Ooh, kinky. The uh. failure in the dungeons also means death. The school has dungeons. Each task has many possible solutions, but there are wrong answers. You will need to make creative use of the spells you have chosen to learn. So think ahead about what might be useful and how. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for magic? Oh, there was my nose again. <laughs> Open up your diaries and begin penciling in your schedule. If you yes. do not have a pencil, a pen will suffice. Alright, now we get to choices, Tim. I need to choose which classes to attend this week. There are classes for each kind of magic, plus general studying, which sounds boring. And gym class, which I've always liked. What kind of, what kind of person am I playing as? No, I hate you. I know, right? <laughs> Uh, I could also More schedule peace. free time to relax and unwind. You know what? Let me go ahead and save real quick. Good idea. Just in case something happens. Alright. I, I say we we go mostly for as much destructive magics as possible. So probably red, black, and blue. Since red is probably destructive. 
black has power with an object, so we could probably manipulate them, which would go hand in hand with the blue. What was white again? I don't remember. <laughs> and, and, and green was about plants. We don't want plants. We just burned the plants. Green was about plants and animals. I forget what white was about. That's terrible. It just happened. Yeah. <laughs> I need to choose which classes to attend this week. There are classes for each kind of magic, plus general studying, which sounds boring. Oh, I already read that. I'm an idiot. Uh, I can always schedule free time to relax and unwind. Right. For most of my life, my classes have been planned out for me by school. It wasn't until last year I got to make any choices at all. Cantonese, French, or Spanish, physics, chemistry, or biology. Dude, I want to go to a school where we learn Cantonese. Uh, where does she I'd go to school at? I probably would too, but it'd be all interesting. Hmm. Still, everyone had to have the same number of classes, and they all started and ended at the same time. You couldn't get out of it. If I can choose whether, uh, if I can choose whatever schedule I want here, what would happen if I never went to class at all? Would you they failed. really let me get away with that? Hmm. What should I do this week? All right. I wonder if we can only choose one thing a day. I think that's how it's gonna work. Yeah, I think you might be right. So I guess the first one. You know what? Hmm. How many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I say we just do one of each each day. So we get something in there. And then... It looks like we could take one of each magic class and not have time for studying uh, sleeping we don't care or about, gym. We don't care about the gym. And yeah. Studying Screw probably gym. won't be too bad. Maybe we'll study before a test. Yeah, yeah let, let's let's do that. Let's take one of each class to see what the hell we're in for here. And then we, then we pick what we want, though I'm still thinking we might just go with what I said earlier. Yeah, you want me to just and go down into diagonal like this? Yeah. Start with red, see what red's all about. Yeah, and leave leave the crappy white one last. <laughs> then that'll be the coolest one. <laughs> we'll be like, man, white's awesome. Now, wait, like, does that mean every Monday it's the same thing, or what? Maybe every Monday we pick what classes we want. Right, but, like, if someone were to select all red classes for that first time like does like what What if you uh, get a repeat of a class or you miss a class I don't know because classes tend to build up well on one I'm theorizing this, here this school is flawed I'm theorizing here because uh, like what you're saying makes sense because it's like it's not that each class is like the same you know what I mean okay, you so you're me. like I went to Monday's class so I don't know what happened the rest of the week that's what you're saying. Yeah, and we're not going to rest at all because we want to be a, an all-powerful mage. Yeah, but... We're going to kill Mr. Grabby Hands with his own but, magics. But we're playing a game, and uh, this is made by the people who made Long Live the Queen before they made Long Live the Queen. And in Long Live the Queen, how classes worked was the more you learned about a subject, the more intricate the stuff you learned was. Like, it gave you more text about what you learned. So I'm guessing the second red class would always be the same doesn't matter what day of the week you take it on and so on okay so so it would not work in the real world no <laughs> in the real world it would be like the classes would either have to be really free form you know what i mean like you Which don't have to work like it could work if they taught you a different thing every day That's but the problem. everything like for math example uh everything's built off up from one another like you can't yeah. learn subtraction until you learn addition yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it could work if they were being very basic about it and teaching you aspects, and then maybe you had to lock into a more rigid schedule. But you're totally right. For, like, all intents and purposes right now, it's like, no, this is terrible. <laughs> yes. Uh-oh. This is Continue. one of his classes. Get to your seats. Hurry up. No chatter. In this class... Carelessness might cost you your fingers. And then I get to eat those fingers because I'm so hungry. That's why he looks all happy. Mm. It's like, mm, and breakfast. <laughs> mm, chicken fingers. He wouldn't really cut off students' fingers, would he? No. Ooh. Here, <laughs> you will be learning the seductive art of red magic. I like it. <laughs> The evocation and control of energy. <laughs> With this power, you might summon a breeze, light a fire, or, or 
has this object to hand. I say that is seductive. Wait, what? I say that is seductive. Oh. That's, that's I say true. that is seductive. Not because of the power itself, but because I get excited from it. Thought of it, <laughs> but uh, because simple minds be fair, simple solutions. Uh. Blast your enemies with the lightning. Their buildings are part of the earthquakes. Let the world around you burn. Uh, yep, we're gonna be testing if this is flameproof Iris Academy or not. <laughs> Fall victim to such vulgar fantasies, and you'll leave yourself honorable to those capable of creative thought. Hmm. There are many approaches that direct force cannot defend against. Hmm. He snaps his fingers in the air. One initiative moment that you lose control of the forces you have summoned. After that, you will only be remembered as an unpleasant stain <sighs> on the walls. We gotta pay attention, Tim. Step this up, man. <laughs> he rubs his hands together and gives a nasty smile. <laughs> so many of you will die. I mean, now for your lessons.